Hello. I'm falling again. Uh, yeah, so I didn't plan on playing this game today, but... Uh, I don't know. I didn't get that great of a night's sleep last night, and also... Uh, spent like a an hour or so at my neighbor's helping them set up their, their cable and internet, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want any... Like, I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but whenever there's, like, an unexpected task that I wasn't planning for, I'm just like, nah, fuck it. Fuck it, dude. All other expectations for the day are void. I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm signing out. Originally, I was going to do, uh, Cave Story again, but then I was like, ugh. It's the core. I don't want to stream for, like, three hours and still not beat the core. So I figured I would pick something where there's no expectations, uh, and that's Fall Guys, where, I mean, there is an expectation, also I cut my lip, and it hurts. Uh, there is an expectation, and that expectation is that I'll lose. So, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> try and beat that expectation if possible, because I would, I would rather win, if possible. I got this. I got this cool new outfit. I'm not sure if I want it, though. Uh, I don't really like any of the top outfits that I have right now, to be honest. I still feel like just pants. <laughs> Baseball pants are the best I have for lower, also. Uh, I could probably change the pattern. I like how this one looks. But the dots are, like, significantly bigger on your actual character than it shows on the, uh, preview. But it doesn't look bad. I could go with a, a dotted baseball brother. Nah, that's... This is literally entirely invisible. Nah, nah. Just little baby fire poking out. Disgusting. I, uh, I'm feeling the dots, gotta be honest. Alright. Do I still want yellow? Probably. Are there any colors? Ooh! Caught me by surprise. I like the, the white highlight, but that's the only one I have that has a white highlight. No. No. I don't know about any of these. I'm probably just gonna keep it as is, honestly. That's not bad. Ooh, that actually looks pretty spicy, too. That looks pretty good, too. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I'm going vibrant today. We're popping. No one's gonna miss us in the lobby. Which is maybe not what you want. If I had a, a definitive Fall Guy strategy, it would be... Look as weak as possible. Uh, so that people don't target you for elimination. Because people will target you in this game. Oh fuck, I should uh, start timer. There you go. I'm streaming. People have gotten much more aggressive in this game. It's rough. Not in Hit Parade specifically, but just uh, Fall Guys as a whole. The murdering is out of control. Oh, there I am. Look at that. Okay, no chance. It's not the worst, though. Like, falling here really doesn't matter, because everybody gets barricaded at the, uh, the choke point anyways. So long as I make it in the first wave, I'll be fine. Who, who the fuck tries going down the middle in that situation? We're 
free. And it's still completely safe to run along the sides here. Friend. I'd like to get a win today, that'd be cool. I would probably feel less drawn to, uh, to playing this game on stream if I had a win, honestly, so maybe that's a bad thing if people like it, but... Given, uh, <laughs> previous streams, I would say it's probably a good thing. But hey. You never know, right? I still, like, I, I said that competition was getting heavier, but, like, if you lose in the first mini game, like, do you have your controller plugged in? What went wrong, you know? I like two platforming games to start out with. I feel like I actually have a chance at these. Just delegate the team mini games to other servers, please. Also, rollout is like. Out of the, like, I don't know what to call them. They're not platforming mini games, but like. There's no real better term for them, I guess. Like, uh. I don't know, I'll just call them murder games, because there's like, there's real platforming mini games where you're just going from a starting point to a finish point. And, uh, and then there's mini games that just go into, like, a certain amount of people are eliminated. Uh, examples being Rollout. And the, the Jump Rope one, which name I forget, but those are like, actually, are those the only two? Whatever. Point is, uh, the games in which people really try and murder you on, Rollout is by far the scariest of those. Like, I consistently get murdered on rollout by people with fucking 500 ping, so it's borderline impossible to actually avoid death. Because what are you gonna do when you get telegrabbed by someone a mile away and the rubber banding just whips you through the stratosphere? Not much. Watching be like, I don't know what it is with this course in particular. What is it, Whirly Gig? Why do people suck at Whirly Gig so much, dude? How did you make it past the first obstacle course, and this one is just too much for you? Alright, he's done it. I'm proud of you. Oh my god. Embarrassing. How the hell did that guy get boxing outfit? That one looks like one I may actually want. I don't think it's one of the DLC ones. I think the DLC ones are just like food. And there's like a... I think the pirate one in the spaceship is a DLC. There aren't that many though. I think it's six outfits total. Okay. Someone unplug their router, I guess. Jump Club, there you go. So this is another murder game, but it's like much harder to get murdered on this one. People try, but it just doesn't really work out. I've tried, but whenever I try on this one, I always end up being the one who gets murdered. Like, I'll, I'll give it a shot, you know? But I don't want to make too many enemies. <laughs> I tried, I tried. I tried to kill the baseball boy. Make enemies. Alright, you know, I've, I've been given an order to make enemies. I, uh, okay, Dick. Oh, let me just, uh, <clears throat> give me a second here and, uh, ban from my chat forever. And there you go. God damn it. That's what happens! Like, whenever I try and murder someone on... What is it? I just read the title. 
I get murdered. I can murder on Rollout. Rollout is pretty easy to murder people on, but whatever that minigame is, it, it just... it doesn't happen. I tried to grab him, he grabbed me at the last second, and, uh... I died. It's how it goes, you know? Well, that's fine. Dying in the middle, like, honestly... doesn't mean that much, because, like... It's hard to feel bad about losing in the middle section of the game, because the first section, you're always going to win. Um, and, like, plenty of middle minigames are just complete RNG anyways. You got Hoopsie Daisy, you got literally every variant of a tail minigame. There's just no winning. And I mean, even like the... not RNG team minigames are kind of RNG. Like Egg Scramble, I'm not gonna say Egg Scramble is RNG because it's like, literally, you just... you either get the eggs or you don't, but... it is kind of RNG whether you're going to be bullied or not. Like, if you don't do good right at the start, and, like, your team isn't backing you up, you are prime-time bully target. I need that first place, dude. Give me the bonus points. I don't actually know how much first place affects the amount of points you get. I think it does something, but I haven't been paying attention. Nice one, dude. Why do people jump, man? Why do people jump when it's so obviously closed? And what are you doing? Oh, he actually made it. Wow. I thought that was failed for sure. I just don't get how it happens. You could have won, dude! You could have won! What are you doing? And then you just... People just stop trying, I swear. They just give up entirely. There's so many people with boxing outfits. Either that or it's the same person who got into this lobby, also. It's possible. Any time now. At any moment, we could be allowed to proceed. Or the servers might just die. Hey, Egg scramble. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not bad at egg scramble. I feel like I am more of a team player than most people are. I just get so frustrated in egg scramble when the person in second place goes after the person in first place instead of just doing the obvious correct choice of bullying whoever's in third. So look at that. Team player immediately got the golden egg. Absolute legend. I don't care about the other gold. Okay, now I care about the other gold. <laughs> uh, who are we going after? I guess I'm going after blue, huh? We got one bodyguard. And he's not that good. What? Did they really successfully steal the gold? What the fuck? Don't successfully steal both golds. Why is no one protecting our fucking eggs? Or at least not doing a good job of it. Come on. You can do better than that, bodyguards. We have lost the lead because my team sucks. My team is garbage. Let go of me. Ah... <sighs> This always happens, dude. I do everything within my ability. 
and I am surrounded by absolute incompetence. Okay. Yeah, have fun. No, yeah, no, you got it, buddy. Go ahead. No, yeah, we don't need it or anything. It's fine. It's not like I worked day and night to get this egg back to our house and uh, my team just stopped caring. That's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Nah, no, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. <sighs> really? It's just, uh, it's fine. What do you do? I, I fucking did everything for my team there, and, and it wasn't enough. We had, like, two bodyguards in our nest for a little bit, and they just weren't doing anything. They just let all of our eggs get stolen. Whatever. What can you do? So that's why it doesn't feel that bad when you lose a game in the middle, because oftentimes it's not up to you. It's not up to you whether you proceed in this game. It's either up to other people or pure chance. Oftentimes, a combination of those two things. You know, just uh, gives me more opportunities to move on people in the obstacle courses. It's fine. Tried to do a cheeky grab for speed boost there. Didn't pan out. Like, do you think do you think there's anything you can do to get an advantage there? Like that seemed alright if I had done it a little bit better. I think I could have actually done something there. Cool though. I love to run into other people. My favorite activity. I always cut it a little bit wide on that platform because I've had experiences where when you run up the middle, sometimes you just like get a tiny little hop and it uh, doesn't actually let you jump when you get to the top and you just walk off. Pretty sick. Slime climb. Give me something that eliminates like 90% of people. Dude, I hate this analog stick. I should be using my other controller. I'm using the one that goes uh, to 100%, like 50% pressed. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I've demonstrated it before, but basically, like, when my analog stick is about 50% to its maximum distance, it's actually reading as 100%. And then I can still move it, like, a decent amount further, but it doesn't do anything. It's pretty sick. The fun minigame in which everyone gets to succeed. No one ever believes my tricks. Did that guy try and push me, or was that just lag? Watermelon, mango, grape, banana. No one ever believes me. Let's go, grab buddies. Mango, grape, watermelon, 
orange, cherry. Mango, grape, watermelon, cherry, orange. Bananas over there, sure. Mango, grape, watermelon, cherry. No one believed me. Oh shit, I didn't believe myself. What is a mango, grape, watermelon? Was that cherry orange? It was probably cherry orange. In my head, I was thinking orange cherry. Whatever. I trusted my <laughs> dumbass memory instead of other people, which is how you lose at that video game. That's how you lose. The only correct answer is just to go where everybody else is. The reason I didn't want to go on that square is because there is like 15 other people there, and I've had experiences where I just get pushed off immediately by a mean person. But at least lobbies are coming in pretty quickly here. Better than they used to be. There is still so much downtime between each game, though. Supposedly, you can tell which doors are open. I have no clue. Like, uh, they say there's a bigger gap on the ones that are open, but, like, sometimes I'll jump into one that has a huge gap, and it isn't correct. I mean, that was correct, but... Okay, that's a huge gap. And it wasn't correct. Maybe it has to be a gap in the center or something, I don't know. I just look for any large gap, and it doesn't work out for me. So I would rather be ahead, but not in front in this game. Because other people seem to have some fucking way of figuring it out. Apparently there's also a lot of cheaters, though, so maybe I'm just relying on cheaters to find the answer for me. <laughs> it's possible. I miss names, dude. I miss names. I also miss uh, lobbies where people had good connection, and it didn't take hours to select a minigame. There you go. Got through that McDonald's internet. So Slime Climb, top pick. Favorite game for clearing out other people. I feel like I'm so much easier to spot out with my new colors. I still can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, uh, come on, just jump up there. Why even use the second triangle? If you're not gonna jump the first triangle, there's no reason to jump on the second one. That guy is almost a, uh, a Ronald McDonald. Someone I saw earlier had, like, a perfect Ronald McDonald outfit. I'm gonna let them go, because I want a bit of space here. What? <laughs> Why did the green guy follow? Oh, shit, I didn't know you could jump up there. Legends. Okay, Ronald, have fun. Have fun, Ronald! Why, though? Like, was it that important that you grabbed me? Okay, yeah, no, I guess we're just gonna get fucked in the corner, sure. No, yeah, have fun. Really, truly. Enjoyable. God, fucking stay away from Ronald. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, just run into me, sure. I 
I don't understand. Like, I swear it's just lag. Whenever there's a laggy person in a lobby, uh, if you get run into someone with high latency, you get sent flying. Either that or they're cheating, but I'm pretty sure it's just lag. Did Ronald die there? Did I see Ronald die? Really? Impressive. You got it, hot dog. Don't let him give you any shit. Thought that guy almost jumped off. Okay, you can, yeah, you can go ahead. No reason to waste everyone's time, really. Yeah, Ronald McDonald left, wow. I can't believe he fucked up after how much of an asshole he was. If you're gonna be an asshole, at least, at least be good at the game. The minigame in which you wait for a little bit and try and push people off while you're at it. Let other people build bridges for you. That's my motto for this minigame. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> you found it! Oh, see what I'm saying with the, the laggy people touching you? You literally get touched by someone with high latency. And, uh, you get sent. Alright, I'm not going any farther. Fuck you guys. I knew that that was safe because the other person jumped to that sideways tile, but... Oh, we're going... Right? Left? Both? Forward. You got it, hot dog. Up, oh, forward. Guys, it's literally just forward to the exit. Like, literally, like, just go for it, brother. Just go. I fucking hate other people. I should have just gone for it. God damn it. Why don't I take the risks ever? I get pushed off by fucking 500 ping. That's fine. It's fine. I do hate that about Tiptoe, though. Well, okay, only six people made it there, so I don't even feel bad because the final minigame would have been the tail minigame. Whenever it's that low, it's like six and under, you can guarantee you're getting the tail minigame as your final. Which is, uh, not the best. I don't think anybody would say Tail Minigame is the best. I do like it more than Fall Mountain, but that's just because I really hate Fall Mountain. I think that Fall Mountain is, uh... insanely punishing if you just get spawned in the back row against people who are good. In the front row. Okay, I'll take the low road. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. I think if you take the high road, you could make it in that cycle, but literally nobody makes it first cycle. Wow! See, what what is going on there? Like, whatever physics interaction were happening, there was just, like, force generated from absolutely nowhere. I'm pretty sure it's just latency that causes things like that. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Just clogging up the tubes for literally everyone else. <gasps> okay, so that's that's one where I would have won if the person in front of me didn't just stop. Cool. How how do you lose in the first mini game? I'll tell you how. Inserts a picture of a dude standing still. Literally the only way you don't qualify in the first minigame 
is if you just aren't moving. Yeah, I was trying to move. It's not my fault the dude in front of me just stopped. So where does it put me? If it puts me in the front of Seesaw, I have a great chance. If it puts me in the back, I have a good chance, but I somewhat have to rely on other people. I, I should be fine here. If you're in the first wave of people who make it past the first checkpoint, you're completely fine. Okay, I need to get there at the same time he gets there, otherwise, yeah, Seesaw would have been unbalanced. But see what I'm telling you? You get ahead of other people in Seesaw, it's like not even a challenge anymore. You're just walking. Oops. I need to go slightly higher because uh, I missed the, the window on that one. It's fine though. Push it up a bit and then we go. No first place because I fucked up that jump, but hey. <laughs> Am I really going to complain about a second place qualifying? Dude, come on. There was nobody there. Why'd you jump? Seesaw does start to be hellish when you have to deal with uh, all of the wobbliness of other players, but... I mean, this dude could still qualify. He's way far behind, but other people in front of him are still falling over, so... I'm rooting for you, 1729. Why would you jump there, though? You're making me doubt you. I had so much confidence at first, but... Go the blue one. Yeah, you got it. He waited. You didn't really have to wait in that situation, because there was only one guy on the seesaw, but look at that. So long as you don't fuck up that jump, you're free. 1729. He's done it. I don't know, 4354 could do it. There's a lot of people ahead of him. That seesaw could fall. Oh, looks like they got teetered. They toppled over. You went too soon, buddy. You went too soon. 4354, that's the mistake that's gonna cost you. That's your qualification out the window, buddy. You had a chance. If you just waited longer, you had a chance. It's too late. It's too late, 4354. You had your window. You shattered it. It's over. Seesaw is also unfortunate just because it takes forever. Seesaw is your first minigame, means you're going to be waiting for at least five minutes. Again, I'll never complain about two platforming games in a row. Highest chance of success. It's what I excel at. I can hold my analog stick forward with the best of them. Okay. You know, it helps when there aren't a wave of idiots I have to deal with, but... I'll make it work. God damn it, dude. Thank you. I don't deserve to get through that door there, but I did. Go the middle! No! My jump was eaten by stubbing my toe. Dude, again, why why was my jump eaten? Alright, see ya. See ya, dude. I I understood why my jump was eaten the first time, because I like lightly bumped into someone. The second time, I don't know why I didn't jump.
I've got input display. You can see the A button. I don't need any more proof than that. It's frustrating, though. I'm not sure if it's lag or physics, but, like, that is consistency... Sorry, consistently the, uh, the only control issue I have with this game. Like, sure, you're wobbly, you're floppy, sometimes you fall over. That's kind of the point. But it really bugs me when the jump button just doesn't work. Especially on Hexagon. It's like... Hexagon is my favorite minigame. But, uh... It sucks jumping on a hexagon and then wanting to jump again immediately. When you jump button just uh, just didn't go. Just decides to take the day off. What is with the people who go in the middle? They know there's people on the opposite side that are gonna try and push it too. It never works out. What? Where does that momentum come from, from people? Is it a bunch of people spamming the dive? What the fuck? Is it a bunch of people spamming the dive button? I just don't understand how it happens. Also, I, uh, I really thought I wasn't going to get hit by that wrecking ball. Ooh, am I not qualifying? I am. Barely, though. Jesus. I did not expect to be hit by that, and definitely not with that amount of force. Where is this owl costume? People are getting costumes that I haven't even seen available. I didn't have the game day one, but, uh... Actually, maybe I did have the game day one. I don't know. I don't know where these people got these outfits. Maybe they're cheaters. Tell you what, definitely not connected to the best Wi-Fi. Cool, dude. Let's flip a three-sided coin. Hey, we have the potential cheater on our team. Hey, he doesn't look like a cheater. I probably just missed an outfit or something. Okay. You can grab me from a foot away, that's fine. Like, I, I, I don't see the point in trying with a minute and 40 seconds left. This is how I play these mini games. Look at that guy. Unthreatened. Because my teammate lured him, I guess I'll help out. I'll be a team player in that situation. No one expects you to taunt with a tail. He expected it. <laughs> I don't understand people who grab and just stand still. Like, is that a latency thing or what? Take it! Ah, oh, whatever. That's fair. Okay, what's not fair is me grabbing onto him for like 10 seconds and not getting it back. I love that. by far one of my favorite features. Uh, I got the grab display thingy, but whatever. I'm gonna get you. You think I won't. I've been born for this. Okay, fine. You win, red boy. We're still winners, though. In the end. What? Overtime? God damn it, why is overtime even exist in this situation? Just fucking knock two of the teams out. Who cares? Uh, it's, 
gonna go overtime again. Nope, green. Nope, overtime again. God damn it, dude. It's so stupid. I'm not feeding red. I refuse to feed red. Oh, oh no. It's us. It's us. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. We, we had the most tails for two overtimes in a row, but I guess we deserve to lose. I love that game. It's just a, just a good mini game. Nothing else to be said. This is the Fall Guys experience right here. The game is mostly good. There are just some really frustrating aspects about certain minigames. Like, conceptually, nothing wrong with Fall Guys. Obviously, like, there, there's a lot of, like, genuine issues, like the servers not working, the fact that there aren't that many minigames. Um, but outside of those things, I think there's there the game gets more hate than it deserves in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like a lot of it is just people like to rag on the successful thing and say that hey, successful thing actually what if it's bad? That happens pretty often. So it's not like I'm surprised. Quick and nimble. Some of the mini games definitely do just actually suck though. I'd be hard-pressed to find someone who really enjoys a lot of the team games, honestly. I was gonna target just the tail games, but just a lot of the, the team games are pretty bad. And I mean, obviously, the tail game that isn't a team game is also still garbage. It's weird that there's such a a scarcity of the platforming courses. I would have expected it to be primarily the platforming stuff with like a few side weird stuff thrown in there. But it's like half and half at the moment. Or maybe even like 70-30. 70, 70 being the weird shit, 30 being the platforming shit. Although, you could definitely say that Hexagon is weird shit and not platforming shit, and Hexagon is by far the best game, so... I'm not saying that all the weird shit is bad, but... Okay, no, yeah, I guess a, an army of ants can push me aside. Dude, where where does the momentum come from? What, what are these dudes doing? It doesn't look natural, is why I say it's latency, because people, like, zip around. I think it's definitely, like, a lot of the weird, incredibly fast physics interactions are caused by latency. You and me, buddy. We're not doing anybody harm. Oh, okay. We're both doing ourselves some harm. Well, see, like, what happened there? What, what even made that dude fall over? Ooh, okay. I was overly cautious because I didn't want to run into the toucan, and instead, I just walked off. It's okay, third time is the charm. No one's qualified yet? Oh, they're probably just waiting at the exit. Like always. Alright, please don't murder me. Because you could. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Don't know what that hot dog guy's doing, but it looks laggy, so I'm not messing with it. 
Wow. I don't trust I don't trust any of these guys. Good one, two camp Sam. Dude, they're really going at it, huh? You think any of them's gonna win? Oh shit! Oh shit! He was really trying, though. He was really trying. A little bit more than four people were actually removed there, but that's fine. Block party, huh? Uh, this one you actually can also, also as well, also murder people somewhat easily. Makes it somewhat frightening as someone who doesn't really like to murder, but oftentimes gets murdered. So definitely one of these two cans is an asshole and one of these hot dogs is an asshole. It's hard to tell. I didn't pay attention to exactly what their outfits were. I hear someone grabbing already. Like, you really gonna try and murder at the start of this minigame? Did I kill? No, I, I almost did. By, uh, clogging up the line a little bit. People used to be so nice. The first couple of days, no one was out murdering. Okay, that's that's the bad one. The one that doesn't have two can feet is trying to kill. Not doing a very good job of it, but he's trying. It's also really hard to tell him apart. Wait, no, okay, I was gonna say, did he die? But I think he did. Oh, the other two can just died, though. So we only have the murder boy. Alright, slightly concerned. Okay. You don't have to grab. It's not even doing anything in this situation. This is a pretty safe... Oh, never mind. He almost got me killed, dude. I don't know how a grab turned into me tumbling, but... God damn. He almost did it. There they go. So, seven. Seven, I think, might be too much for a tail minigame. If so, we've got Hexagon or Fall Mountain. Or the biggest tail minigame I've ever seen. Alright, let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, this is my chance. A really empty hexagon level is like... This is the best opportunity I'm gonna get all day. Alright, I'm gonna assume Hot Dog's gonna go that tile, so I'm going to that tile. A little bit farther out of reach. Never mind. Just didn't get enough uh, speed to jump. We can chill here. We don't have to be mean. Oh! Okay, that was almost weird. Yeah, come on. Let's chill. I don't know why you jumped out there. We could have uh, hung out a little bit longer, but sure. He's got middle, I've got outer. He could box me in if he starts to box me in. Uh, he's gonna. I I'm not gonna mess with that, though, because I... I think I'm probably... Well, actually, there's not a lot of tiles underneath me over here. I have to jump for that. That was a really hard jump. With the uh, depth perception. Woo! 
That was the best situation for me. Oh, that guy got scared. Oh, shit! I didn't make that jump. Oh, no. Oh, no. Avoid the shadows. Oh, God. My jump didn't work. They're running. Okay. He's running. It's annoying. This, they're all running. They're all gonna fuck all of us over. Okay, I, I cut him off to the smaller part. I think they have an access. Oh shit, it's me and one other guy. I don't know where the other guy is. He has less platform than I do. Maybe? I have to use as much as I can. Yes! Let's go, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Hexagon is my game, dude. If I get Hexagon, that's my best chance at success. Oh, fuck, that was the most stressful game of Hexagon I've gone through, though. I need to sit for a little bit after that one. Oh, Jesus, okay. Uh... Only four minigames that time. It's because of Slime Climb. Slime Climb kills so many people. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay. So I got that done with. Now I don't have to worry about getting a win on stream. Uh, since that happened so early, though, obviously I'm going to continue streaming for a little bit. And now I can... Well, actually, the only thing I really want to purchase is Ninja, I guess. I could purchase Stealthy as a color. Which I probably should, since these only roll every two days. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, okay. I don't really care about Master Ninja, because it's just the bottom, and... Look at that. Look at that. It's got a seam in it. Uh, so does regular Ninja. It's got a seam in it. Um, I, I would care about Beefy. I won't lie. It'd be pretty nice to have Beefy, but five wins is a little... Unexpected. It's also just a bottom, and it has a seam in the front. Disgusting. Pineapple wouldn't be bad. Yeah, you know what? Give me pineapple. Give me envy. And I guess I'll just save up for uh, ninja. It's not going anytime soon. Woo! Unbelievable. That's, that's the one I can win at. I've had a win with a tail minigame. I've had like three or four with Hexagon at this point. One win with tail minigame. No Fall Mountain wins. And I always get Fall Mountain. Like 90% of the time I make it to the finals, it's Fall Mountain. I think it's because Fall Mountain has the biggest player capacity. So if you have a game that reaches, like, game 5 or game 6, um, it's always going to be Fall Mountain if you have, like, 15 players still in. But man, oh man, did that feel good. I'm happy with that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can trip on your own shoes. Go ahead. Thanks, chicken. I don't know if spam jumping there is good, or if it's better if you just jump once and let the momentum carry you. It's probably better if you just jump once. Since it's a slippery surface. Ah. 
I think when you're on uh, a slope that's not slippery, though, you can be spamming jump. Poor fools. If you don't make the jump the first time, it's very hard to win in Gatecrash. And a lot of people don't make the jump first time. So this is one of those RNG bully games, who's gonna get bullied? Hopefully not me. Okay, <laughs> waiting for the game to start there, bud. You got me scared a bit. As I previously talked about, though, yellow has the, the mental advantage. And look at how much that mental advantage is helping us out. Wow, red just gave up on this ball once they got it, huh? Fair enough. Help me out, french fries! Let's go. Alright, I... I also gave up on it as soon as we got it, but I saw this guy coming back for it, so I'm gonna do my due diligence here. Thanks, Blue. I don't know why you're helping us, but thanks. Gonna let Red and Blue fight over that one. Why does Red have three? Oh, because they're at, like, the middle. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Who do I want to go after? I'm gonna wait a little bit. I, I'm actually just gonna sit here. I think red is going to be easier to bully. Okay, which which ball am I going after? I'm going after this one. Let's go. I don't know why that guy seemingly gave up on it for a bit, but... Okay. We got this. Uh, it doesn't matter if the entire red team is coalesced on this single ball, we still got this. Why does red have four of these? Okay, fuck it. We, we qualified. I wasn't paying attention to the scores there at all. Probably not my best game of hoarders, but hey. I did something, maybe. Twenty-four. Could be looking at world's largest fall ball lobby. Uh, probably gonna be... Okay, not what I was going to say at all. I was going to say a platforming level, or maybe rollout. I just forget this game exists, because unless you're doing dumb shit trying to get people murdered, there's no real challenge here. And I am not going to do dumb shit again. It's just not worth it on this one. So long as you're not stationary, you're pretty safe. A lot of people are stationary and they just get dragged off by someone with 800 ping. Okay. See, if I was stationary there, I might have been in trouble. Oh, I tried to, uh... Tried to do a, a cheeky grab, because I don't know what my ping is between any of these players. I could be the one with 800 ping. God damn it, I wasn't looking behind. Why do I try and get people killed, dude? It's so not worth it. Every single time I try and get people killed, I get killed. On that mini game, at least. I just focus so hard, and I'm like, I'm gonna grab ya. And then I, I just get hit in the back. It's fine. I don't need to prove anything. I've already got a win. And goddamn, was it a tense win. I I'm still thinking about it, man. Oh, that's the best match of Hexagon I've done in a while. I say as if I've been playing this game for years. A lot of my Hexagon wins are honestly just, like, no contest. Like, I'll be five layers above everyone else. Why is this here? This freaks me out, dude. It's so weird. Alright. 
starting from behind. If I investigated the balloon for a second time. My ultimate weakness. Curiosity. Okay. And somehow, I'm back at the front. How does it happen? Please. Too many dummies. Aw, oh, dude, I was gonna shove that guy in. I love shoving people into the exit, because so many people just wait right next to it. It's like the nicest form of grabbing you can do. Fuck trying to kill people with grabs, shove them into the goal. Fuck it, sacrifice your own qualification to shove one in the goal. We're out here being nice and fall guys. That's what I'm talking about. Look at it, that load time. You know you're in a good lobby when it only has to scroll through like three games before it actually selects one. And another platforming one too. I wonder if it is like solely based on how many players there are. Like, because there's still so many people alive, it, it just picked another platforming one, because those are the only games that have high capacity or something. He's schmoovin'. I am well above my competition. No, dude! My competition! Oh, he grabbed me from actual miles away. Okay, that wasn't my finest hour, but... I can make it! Okay, I, I hit a little bit of an invisible wall there, but hey. We've done it. There is some kind of weird latency going on. Alright, something's not right in this lobby. Something ain't right here. You got it, dude. Oh, you, you're an absolute legend, buddy. You keep going. We believe in you. Oh, yeah, yeah! Not the right strategy, but he, he okay. He didn't press the jump button on that one. You know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes my jump button doesn't work. All right. I'm not sure how much benefit I should give that doubt. I feel like not that many people got eliminated there. What's the point in having a second round platforming game if you're not going to make the qualifiers smaller? Tail tag. 30 player tail tag. Ugh. I'm gonna do the same strat I always do, which is just chill out in the middle till there's like 30 seconds left. And that's where it actually matters. My ultimate strategy. Excuse me. No one's joining me. Typically, someone spams emotes with me. I mean, that guy's stretching. I don't know if that's an emote or an idle animation, though. 
We're almost there. Alright, 30 seconds. That dude started moving at 30 seconds too. Let's go. He knows the strats. Why is that guy gaining on me? And how? And why? Oh, he telegraphed, huh? That's cool. Oh, I, uh, I guess I lose then. I, uh, yep. I, I lose by getting grabbed by someone about two players distance away from me. All right. Oh, tail tag, huh? Cool. I love to play Fall Guys. Constantly an exciting thrill ride. You never know if you're going to get a fair and balanced game where you have a chance of winning, or if you're going to get grabbed by someone 10 miles away. It really is anybody's guess. A true intellect's game. Seesaw. I have succeeded a single time, Dickard. A mere singular victory today. To the gentleman's game. Hexagon. Okay. <laughs> you can see where all my skill comes from, surely. That's fine, I'm still winning this. This is to prove that you don't have to be ahead of everyone in Seesaw to win. You can be the last person who makes it to checkpoint one and still make it. Alright, I was trying to die there to uh, get on the other... Yep, okay, I should have died again. There you go. Now I'm on the side that can actually proceed! Let's go. Sorry for everyone at the other side of that checkpoint. I recommend you do my strategy. It'll work out better for you. <laughs> you didn't have to jump there, buddy. Come on. Ooh, he actually made that. I thought for sure there was no chance. Push. Push. Only six qualified. I feel like I'm a little bit too far behind on this Seesaw game, gotta be honest. Yes! He clung! No, dude. No, dude! There were only two people on the Seesaw. You're telling me that's enough? That's enough to full topple? Pivoted at the right moment. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna happen again. No, he's gonna jump. It's gonna happen again. I fucking hate Seesaw. I, I hate it. Why Why did I get on? I, I knew. I knew it wasn't gonna make it. And there's the final four that qualify. Oh, wait, no, there's six. Oh, my God, there's one spot open, and I didn't make it. All right. Fucking see ya. See ya, Seesaw. You're not meant to have strategies in this game? Dick. Buddy. That's why your only chance of winning is in a lobby where everyone gives up. I do recommend against the strategy of uh, failing at the very start of Seesaw, because Seesaw really is incredibly punishing if you don't make it in the first wave of people. I blame that on you for distracting me, Dick. You got me reminiscing about my victory mere moments ago. Now, Dizzy Heights, this is a game where you can't lose. You just, you can't lose it. Straight up. If I start in the front here, I can try and do a first cycle. 
I've never seen anybody make it. Oh, nope, started in the back. No chance. Like, I can try and grab to get ahead, but it, it doesn't work out. Okay, yeah, I would have made that if that dude didn't bounce at me. I still think that that's the fastest strategy, is to uh, go in the center of that one wheel. Oh, hey. Oh, hey! Dude's clogging up all the gears. Oh, wait, this isn't the one where you have to make the choke point. Whoops. I know what I'm talking about. Wow. A legendary performance. Wow. Don't get toppled over, huh? I think that might be enough to make it so I don't qualify. There is definitely 40 people ahead of me here. But they all seemingly suck, so... Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can lose at this game, dick! I had everything going against me, and I still won. Hmm, I can tell. I can tell you believed in me. Firm conviction in this guy. But uh, basically, whether you win in this game or not boils down to if you get tail mini games, if you get team mini games, uh, and what your final mini game is. So, you know, if I lose this one, you can't really blame it on me, because I have to rely on a bunch of other dumbasses, and I also have to rely on luck. You hate big ball team games? Do you mean specifically the soccer one, or just anyone with balls? Because I think the soccer one is fun if you have a good team, but is infuriating if your team is five-year-olds. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is that is Tail Games in a nutshell. It, it's got an extraordinarily long timer, and means absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm not doing anything. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking they cut the Team Tail minigame, because it doesn't really make sense as a Team minigame in the first place. Uh, and for the other Tail minigame, they just have it so that you get points for holding on to the Tail, and once you've made a certain amount of points, it, uh, it just deletes you. Like, you, uh, you qualify and no longer have to play the game you get removed from existence. Along with your tail. Why, why, why? Cool, dude. This teammate steals tail so he can give it to a blue guy. Absolute legendary gamer. Fucking proud of him. No, dude. Dude, we were gonna chill. Okay, that guy sees me. I knew that green guy had it out for me. He looked at me at the last second before he fell. I don't have a tail. Dude, I tricked him! I tricked him! He went right past me! Oh my god. He stared me in the eyes and was like, that guy's not running. He must not have a tail. That's all it takes. Either that, or he just gave up, because he knew his team was fine. I wasn't really paying attention to the scores, as I typically don't. I would have been real pissed if I had a tail and lost, because I was doing everything in my ability. Which is another big reason I think the team tail minigame makes no sense. Like, it's so frustrating to do literally everything you can. Like, there's not that much you can do to help a team outside of ending the game with a tail. And it's very frustrating to do that successfully and still be punished. It's 
Slime Climb is the ultimate eliminator. Okay, yep, Goomba stomped by a spaceman. Okay, don't know what happened there. I just, oh, what is happening there? I'm like stubbing my toes on the little white line. I'm afraid that I could get grabbed by the edge here. What are these outfits? Like, where the fuck do you get that bird outfit? Where are these people getting them? It's hard to tell if it's like a special promotion thing, a developer thing, or if people are just cheating. Right, the only scary part of Slime Climb. Woo! I'm scared! Now the best part of Slime Climb is watching people try and kill people at the end. Oh, they're trying! Fucking Ninja Brothers desperately trying to get kills. Come on, you got it. No, dude, you gotta go sooner than that. Come on. Unbelievable. How many are we down to? I didn't pay attention. As always, 12? It could be a beefy Fall Mountain. It could be a beefy Hexagon, I think. I don't know what the max players on Hexagon is. I'm pretty sure the max on Fall Mountain is 15. That's what it looks like, at least. Oh shit, we're doing a tiptoe? It's gonna be a really small amount that qualify here. I would imagine it halves it. More or less. Legends. Uh, that's safe? Yep, we got it. It's gotta be left or right. It's probably... Ooh, shit. Left. And right. It's probably left again. Yeah, I knew it. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I hate you. Why, though? Why? Oh, how does they... How do they get so much fucking boost off of a grab? I never get anything off of my grabs. I don't understand where the force comes from. You gotta go faster, dude. Nope, not that way. I'll take a sacrifice for the team. Oh shit, they've already done it over there. Uh, I lose. I lose by being the bravest member of society, and actually I win, so I really, quite honestly, deserve it. <laughs> I can count. I can count with the best of them. Okay, so I think 7 is over capacity for tail minigame, which means we have the perfect hexagon, or we have a okay fall mountain. Please. Wake me up when it's over, dude. How am I supposed to win? We got four ninjas here. Everybody knows they have plus ten to stealth and plus five to speed. I swear to god if I get grabbed immediately, I'm just disconnecting. What?! I pushed the door and it just knocks me out? Like, yeah, I pushed it with my head, sure. But, I, come on, you're supposed to push the door. I, I already lose. They're so far ahead, and I'm getting destroyed by the balls. Which, when you're this far ahead, like, there's no way to avoid them, really. And they're gonna make it. Yep. I hate Fall Mountain. It's it's just there's no way to catch up to people. 
you you did it, hot dog. You know, I'm glad a hot dog won instead of one of the ninjas, at least proving that the stat bonuses don't matter. It could have been Hexagon. Just imagine. Imagine a world where that was Hexagon. Wait, actually, I might want that new color. What was it? Rainbow water? Eh, it looks alright. I like the, the vibrant blue and red, though. Ugh. So yeah, that's Fall Guys. You get lucky in the middle. It still doesn't matter, because you have to get lucky in the end. My current beliefs about the final three minigames is that one of them is pure luck, one of them is a lot of luck, and one of them is pure skill. And they never give me the pure skill one, because they know I'd become too powerful. Even after the sacrifices I put on tiptoe, they wouldn't give me hexagon. No one jumps on the slopes, it gives you such a speed advantage. I feel like an absolute legend doing it. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's cool. Go ahead. No, yeah, keep jumping on me, dude. Keep it up. I love it. I'm just gonna go for the grab. Which is a weird mechanic that is only actually usable in very specific locations. Woof. At this time of day... Whoever, whoever gets hit by this, whoever gets hit by it twice. Okay, three times? Come on. People are going to start asking questions. I'll make it through the hard one just fine. Okay. A little bit eager on that jump there. But again, another situation in which I did everything wrong and still qualified. <laughs> Losing on the first minigame is something else. Great screenshot moment at the end there. Give us Slime Climb. You wouldn't. You're too scared. You know if you cull too many players, it brings me that much closer to Hexagon. Oh, let's go, dude. Ask and you shall receive. If I start in the front, I go for Dorito. Uh, it's close enough to the front that I could risk a Dorito. But I don't know. With this many players, it's kind of scary. Oh, hey, Dorito. Wow, and I almost got pushed by dickheads anyways. I should have just gone for that, honestly. Oh, that was such a slow jump, so I had to dive there. Dude, it's nice being in the, the front of Slime Climb. I don't think I've ever been first place in Slime Climb. It's so peaceful. No strife, no challenge. Just a leisurely stroll. I should be doing that shortcut that those other dudes showed me. I just keep forgetting about it. <gasps> okay. I was uh, very close to being a dumbass there. First place? And by a lot. Oh my god, that person just actively chose to die. They're second place, and they're a fighter. Look at them. Wait, let me, let me, 
whatever. Just this is fine. Please kill someone. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. I don't understand why sometimes when you grab someone, there's like a graceful drop. And sometimes it like pops you off and shoves you full force. I think it, it pops you off when the person grabs you for the full duration they're allowed to, and it uh, it only peacefully drops it if they let go of the button before that happens. Alright, well, it's gonna look like 15. They could choose to throw us in another minigame. If they are, it's probably gonna be like, uh... oh, it's gonna be 16. See, I can count. Unless he murders now. Um, uh, it's probably gonna be a, a block party, uh, roll out, whatever that jump rope minigame is, which name I always forget. Ring around the rosy extreme edition. Rock and roll! It's been so long since I've gotten this one. I forgot it was a game. I'm a fan of rock and roll, though. That also ends us with a, a good amount of uh, players for Hexagon. Or Fall Mountain, as much as I hate it. Why do you leave the ball before we're even at the moment where you can sabotage? Like, it's going to be a while before we even have a chance at sabotaging. Why are you doing it now? Why are you leaving? Your team needs you. What are you doing, Ninja? You're actively making things worse for everyone. Okay, we're not in last here. You've never seen this one? It doesn't get chosen very often, because I think it requires, like, a very specific amount of players. And also, uh... It is one of the later mini-games, so I would understand why you wouldn't have seen it, Dick. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> there goes yellow. They'll be remembered. Alright, what's it gonna be? Tiptoe? Really? Oh, that kind of blows, because that means the final minigame could be Tail. And uh, a final Tail is... Eesh. Yeah, six players. It's gonna be the Tail minigame for sure. It's disgusting. I don't even care if I win this, because I, I know it's gonna be Tail to end. I'm just chillin', guys. Have fun. Oh, what the fuck, dude? See what I'm talking about with the, the <laughs> laggy physics interactions? Like, that ain't normal. People don't go at that speed. Go left. Holy shit. Obviously it's left. Go left, you dumbasses. It connects. Holy shit. It doesn't connect. I don't take back my dumb ass statement, though. Okay. So it's gonna be forward there. Go for it, buddy. I trust in you! It's right? It's not right. Fuck. I lose. It's fine. It's gonna be a tail game anyways. I'm not upset. Like, I'll try, but... Wow, they're really arguing at the end here. Impressive. Wow. Look at them go, dude. Look at them go! Wow! You think you could just make that jump? Nah, that looks too far. Oh, they did it. See ya. <laughs> See ya, <you> guys. <laughs> Have fun with your tail game. I'm gonna go join a lobby that has a chance at Hexagon.
I'm pretty sure six is too small for Hexagon. I've never been in a lobby with six players in Hexagon. The smallest is seven. I think at six and under, it always picks the tail minigame, so... That's my experience, at least, and I've gotten the tail minigame a handful of times. It's always been six and under, it's always been the tail minigame. So I, I am not going to be too beat up over that loss. Oh my god, and we get into a lobby that starts with Slime Climb. My absolute favorite. Alright, so we're starting with... I'm gonna assume that's 60. I'm not gonna count it out. It actually looks more like 40. Can everybody qualify? If everybody can qualify, then uh, we'd be looking at 37. 36? Why are people disconnecting? Oh, because they probably already got slimed like dumbasses. Go ahead, guys. I am not risking it with this many people. Yep, wow. I got pushed when I didn't want to, and uh, that's what happens. If you can't get ahead of everyone on Slime Climb, you gotta pick your moment. You can't just rush forward, because you're going to get crushed by the amount of other people there are. Which is why I waited a little bit on that, because I knew that joining up together in that center pillar was going to be a little risky. Let's go. We're shortcut boys. Shortcut brethren. Making it harder for each other. Taking turns. Okay, I was, I was a little worried for him there. He didn't look like he quite understood the right moment to go. But I think it was probably just lag. Okay. Very nice. Very nice gentleman. He could have killed me there. It's very easy to kill people at that section. Oh, which is why I'm going to be on the lookout. Oh, look at that guy. He's got the fancy legs. He spent uh, five crowns on that. Got a big shot in the lobby. Wow. Got a dude skateboarding. You got to go real fast here, buddy. Holy shit! No, dude! You could have taken your time a little bit there. Oh well. So, first mini game. We are down to 13 people. That's what I like to see. That's why it's it's uh, very exciting to get Slime Climb as your first. It doesn't happen very often. I think it only happens when your lobby doesn't fill up all the way. Any moment now. Fall ball, huh? So if I have a decent team above maybe the age of 10, we got a good shot. That's how it's done. Let's go, hot dog. Let's go, hot dog. Okay, I'm, you know, you, I set it up perfectly for you, but you just you you let it go. Come on, guys. 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 Got. Gu thank you, hot dog. You legend. We work together on that one. This is real teamwork hours. We're really going at it here. Just go for the... No, go for the closer one, dude. They knew what to defend against. Okay, Hot Dog's got it in the back. I'm gonna join him. Yep. I didn't trust it. Dude, I can't defend it by myself here. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. The strongest defense. Woo! A little scary. We got there. 
God damn it. If they got in the way. If they weren't having their tussle, that was in. Okay. I don't understand people who grab during this game. I understand people who grab during the serve, but like, why grab just in the middle? Am I that scary to you? Oh shit, that was really good. I'm proud of that guy. Great defense. Oh! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Oh, I was standing in the right spot, but didn't expect the ball to come down that- No way, dude, they got one too? And I fucked up the serve, but the... God damn it, I served it straight to him. No! You're kidding. And it's an egg? Okay, we have to score the egg. The egg is five points. Or at the very least, we can't let it get scored on us. Are you fucking kidding me? I now understand why you would grab people. Oh, it's just the egg? It's going O-type. Oh, oh, O-tie. Oh, overtime. O-T. They're too focused on the egg. Oh my god, they're really good. Oh my god, that's going in. Wow! Cool! I love Fall Ball. <laughs> god damn it. I, I fucked up the serve on that one, but at the same time, that was just an unbelievable shot. And, like, literally... 80% of both of our teams were on the egg, which is kind of infuriating. Because literally all it took was one point anyways. I don't know why they would focus on the one that's harder to score. You really should have rethought the strategy on that one, boys. But, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Thirty people, huh? I can be satisfied with a lobby that's cooled down to thirty on the first game. I hate it when you finish first mini game and you've still got like forty-five or fifty people. If I didn't go on the upper side of that, that seesaw would have fallen. Why am I falling over on every single one of my jumps here? I need some ankle training. We're making it. This is why you need to get ahead on seesaw. If you're stuck in the back, like, I'm just gonna look back as soon as I get to the exit. And, uh, it'll be pretty obvious why you wanna be- Okay, yeah, no, go ahead! Go ahead, Dino! You fucking got it! Yeah! You- you're- you're awesome, dude! You're so good at the game. Jumped on our seesaw, killing all of our momentum, and then in- Okay, buddy. And then immediately jumped off to his death. Absolute legend. Like, look at the mess that those people back there have to deal with. Look at the verticality of these seesaws. Disgusting. But like I said, while being ahead of everyone else is obviously a good idea, especially in seesaw. Uh, you still have to deal with dumbasses like that fucking dino tendies motherfucker who tried to ruin it for us all. Is that him up there at the top left? Did that dumbass live? Unbelievable. He probably did, because he got a, a much later checkpoint than the majority of people. Egg scramble. Petition to bring back the frog nets. You know, the frog nets were... It, that screenshot was probably taken at a point in the game where 
you couldn't steal from other people, because it doesn't look like you can get back out of that net. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just making shit up. How did my egg get yoinked out of my hand there, by the way? Asking for a friend. Alright, I, uh, I made that red guy angry enough that he couldn't proceed. That's the way I'm gonna phrase that. I'd like it, but you know what? Anybody but Red having it is better. Because cause Red's lowest at the moment. There we go. Okay, that actually went towards Red. Y you have it, Blue. I'll fucking save you. I'll, I'll goddamn save you. Uh, well, I tried. No, dude. They're stealing. That's my egg. Uh, that egg is stuck forever? Okay, he's got it. Uh, I guess I'm going to blue then, huh? Oh shit, red's taking it. Whatever. Blue is now high priority bully target. Oh shit, that guy delivered an egg and killed me? Legendary play. Why would you grab me in blue's nest, red? I believe it's an accident, so I'm not going to bring you through but, oh, that guy just let go of me. Thank you. No, dude, why are we losing now? What happened? Why do they let this happen all the time? Every single time I trust my team, they just, they fuck it all up. They fuck it all up for me. Whatever. Okay, the, the gold one was stolen again. We stand no chance. I hate my team. I, I, I just absolutely despise it when that happens. I delivered a golden egg. I stole, like, two? Which isn't a super high amount. I also fucked over the other teams a decent amount. How does it happen? What were they doing? Like, the very first time I came back to deliver an egg, I immediately knew my team was incompetent because they let the golden one get stolen instantly. Instantly the golden one was taken from us. And, uh, I, I scooted it back in, but it just got taken again. How does it happen? I'll never understand it. back to the games that I'm guaranteed to win, but unfortunately at a lobby that ends with 42 people, so, you know, still have a lot of mini games before I actually have a chance of winning. Before it's revealed if I have a chance at winning, I guess is a better way to put it. God damn it, I hate the bouncy things that go back and forth. They always fuck me. Okay, that does seem like the strat. Just dump, dump, just jump once on the uh, slippery slope and that gives you the biggest speed boost. Incredibly large speed beast. I don't know if we really need a 10 second drum roll every time this happens. The faster you can get to loading in whatever the next game is, the better. Preferably, you would start loading in the next game while that little uh, preview is showing. They might be doing that. Who knows? Because I can't imagine that, uh, takes up that much processing power just to show the little beans falling. You could probably load something in the background while it's doing that on a different thread. I 
have a good chance at making it first cycle. Let's go, boys. First cycle. If I didn't get knocked over, I had a chance. I had a real solid chance there. I think it's impossible, or at least borderline impossible. Why, why are the... What the fuck is the speed boost from the guys in the back? Was that lag or was that cheating? That didn't look right. They were getting, like, speed from absolutely nowhere. I still don't know what a cheater looks like in Fall Guys. But... It definitely looked a little bit weird there. The real murder game. If I see a really easy target, I'll go for it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to murder. I also might be murdered here, because it's still very easy to get murdered. I wasn't doing anything, buddy. I feel like my costume makes me stand out so much, though. Oh, shit. They're running into people. My costume makes me stand out so much, which uh, means that if I don't murder someone in an attempt to murder someone, I may get people seeking revenge against the blue and red baseball brother. happens. Look at that. That was a prime murder target. So is that guy, but I couldn't get to him fast enough. What the fuck? He's just gonna die? Oh, God. Cutting it close to the edge there, buddy. Uh, this is scary. You don't want holes on either side of you. Absolute worst case scenario. No one's murdering. Oh, what the fuck was that? Whoa, how was he pushing me so strong? Again, either a cheater or just ridiculous lag. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But he pushed me and he kept going. Okay, no, that is, that is not normal. Whatever that guy is doing, that is not normal. Stay away from him at all costs. Woohoo! Is it the guy to the left of me? It was a ninja! I'm not sure which one. Is there only one? No, there's another at the top left. I didn't see if he had a yellow or white face. Not in a weird way or anything. Ooh, let's hope that I get the cheater on my team. Slash laggy person, which is honestly just as powerful as a cheater. If you got the power of 800 millisecond ping, you fucking use that, buddy. But not against me. Then I get angry. Got some, uh, got some strong plays going on here. Right off the bat, looks like we're gonna lose this. Alright, you know, I tried my best to save it. Okay, it's too late. Uh, turns out we are on the losing side of things already too late. Nope, I couldn't get ahead of that fast enough. Alright, so game over. They are better at the serve than our team. I'll try my best to uh, grab as many of them as I can, but at least we can actually play ball again. I don't know, dude. I think that I think that guy might be a cheater. It's hard to tell. I, I really don't know what a cheater looks like in this game, but He's probably just good and kind of laggy, if I had to guess. Alrighty. It's, uh, it's feeling like we don't really have any chance here, buddy. You know, I'll wait in the right spot. Oh, no, or you can just put it on their side. It's cool. 
You know, I'll stay through to the end of the minigame, because if you're not disqualified, you don't uh, get any points for actually losing here. I think. They probably have some level of punishing you for leaving an unfinished lobby. Things could have gone so differently. But I don't know, they, they just have, like, a lot better players on their side. It feels like a lot of our players, myself included, aren't really doing that much. Oh, wow. I really served that straight to him, didn't I? We had plenty of people on defense, but they just did nothing. Either from frustration, or because they're bad. But, uh, yeah. Just gonna sit this one out, I guess. Aww. Oh, what? We lost? What the? How did that happen? I feel like it's also a huge disadvantage if you're playing against a team that has, like, a real team. Like, four people in a group together. Obviously, there's no way I could tell if they were in a group together or not, but they were definitely coordinated and definitely better than the majority of players on our team. But, you know, that's what you get when you sign up for Fall Guys. You can't win every game, unfortunately. Obviously, it would be better if the game was more tuned towards being able to win every lobby. If you're, uh, if you're good enough. But as it currently stands, for the most part, you're going to be at a large disadvantage on most team minigames. Oh, I shouldn't say you're at a disadvantage, it's just less likely that you're going to win when you have to rely on randos. It's not quite the same thing as a disadvantage. It, it is the same thing as a disadvantage if the other player has a group and is like a real team, but that's the same thing for every multiplayer game. Like, if you're queuing with randos, you always have a chance of being matched against people who are like, in a voice call, right? And, like, coordinated and play well together. So it's not a foreign concept, but I do think that when only one person can win in the end anyways, I don't understand why there's so many team minigames. I, uh, like, it's not a breathtaking like, molten hot, scathing take. Pretty much everybody agrees that there should be less team minigames, and that the tail minigames especially need to be changed, but... You know. It's easy to talk about when frustrated about a team loss, because... my team sucked. Partially myself included. Did they- I saw the golden bars. Did they add back in the other final minigame? I didn't see if there was a patch. I haven't gotten it yet, but I've only gotten to the finals, like, a couple of times. So it's possible. Plausible. I hate how it looks like there's a seam at the top of my head with this dot outfit. It looks like two of the dots are connected or something. Oh yeah, that's just a seam in my head, huh? 
Does everybody have a scene in their head? I haven't paid attention to the... the head scenes before. I've only noticed it with this uh, pattern and this color setup. You got that uh, soft, fleshy baby skull thing going on. Only three more people need to go. Two more. One more. There you have it. Rollout's pretty safe if you don't try and murder anyone. Even when you try and get murdered, it's typically easy to get out of unless they're super laggy. Which happens. Ugh. 22 person tiptoe. The beefier a tiptoe lobby, the worse it is. Because it always cuts the lobby in about half, and uh, about 80% of the players are going to be right at the front of wherever the path is. Go ahead, boys. Have fun. I'll chill out slightly farther behind than you. Oh, look at that! We got a nice 3x3 three three here. Plenty of space. We could build a house here. Just go for it, dude. Never mind. Never mind again. And I lose. Never mind, they suck. Holy shit. What the fuck happened there? Why did so many people fall? Turns out, taking it slow is the way to go. A completely risk-averse tiptoe player. Something more disgusting has never been mentioned. Oh, you could have just thrown us in a hexagon lobby. You didn't need to cut it down to fewer players at this point. Please tell me I have a competent team. Let's go. Getting some nice pushies. I play mid, you know. Put me in the middle. I'll uh, I'll send it in the right direction. I just gotta hope that our defense is solid, and it's not looking like it is. We only have two guys back there, to be fair. I'll come join the squad for a little. Oh, the legendary save of the century! Let's fucking go, dude. Sacrifice my own life for that save. the double? You're welcome. I thought I timed that decently, but... Wow. It's kind of bullshit. I feel like I jumped at the perfect time and it didn't help. And also, what was the whiff on that guy? Did that still get saved? No way. Yeah. Can I get some assistance here? Nope. They're gonna, they're gonna grab me. Guys, you don't know how to play the game. Stand at the center for the serve! What are you fucking doing, dude? Why is no one here with me? This is so frustrating. I fucking hate being on a team that doesn't know how to play! Like, it's not soccer. As much as you want it to be soccer, as soon as the first goal is scored, it turns into volleyball. And no one is waiting there for the serve. I mean, we have a chance at OT. 
Ugh, that was really sloppy. It still went in a decent direction, though. Why would you push that? I had such a better angle, and you saw that I had a better angle, and you still chose to fuck it up. Why? Why, dude? I don't get it. Why is someone playing fucking goalie when we're behind? We're behind by like, well, two points at the end there. We're behind by two points with like 15 seconds left and you're gonna sit in the goal? There wasn't even any risk at being scored on there. I just, uh, it's so fucking awful. Anyways, next one, I guess. Oh my god. This game is gonna... It's, it's, it's gonna make me never talk to another human soul ever again. I'm just gonna close out. I'm gonna realize that people just aren't worth it anymore. <laughs> if you can't fucking realize why they're getting scores on us and we're not getting scores on them, I don't know how to help you. Within the best of my ability, I was there to serve the ball and I had no support. I had plenty of teammates that were available. At least half of our team was just fucking dogpiling on the exact same, uh, I don't know, line of defense. They were just standing on, uh, on top of each other is basically what I'm trying to get at. There is no reason... For, uh, at least 50% of our team to be doing jobs that were already covered by other people. Instead, they could have uh, they could have spent some nice quality time helping me do the job. They could actually use some assistance. Okay, I guess you can grab me here. I don't know why you would want to, but sure. You and me, buddy. We understand. You could have gone for that. Instead, I'm gonna get the beefy first place. It's nice. It's nice being back in a world where I can do something that actually matters. You give me control over the situation, I'll win. You say, hey, rely on, you know, eight people who just got out of daycare? W what am I supposed to do? They haven't even taken their nappies today. Whatever. I'll get over it one of these days. Fall Ball is the, it's the number one game where you can guarantee you're going to lose if you know you don't have someone to rely on. Like, if you have at least one other person, like when I'm playing the game with my girlfriend and uh, I can, I can sleep soundly knowing that I have another person above the age where uh, <laughs> they can mentally, cognitively think on my team. That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes to win. Great banana. This time, I'm going to trust other people's judgment if I uh, am not confident in an answer. Fuck it. I, I, tricking people doesn't even work, so I'm just gonna stop trying to trick people. Cherry, watermelon, banana, mango. Cherry, watermelon, banana, mango. 
cherry watermelon banana mango. We can all chill out. Mang watermelon, mango, grape. Orange, banana, watermelon, mango, cherry, grape, orange, banana. At least it was one of the ones I was confident in. There you have it, folks. The easiest mini game. How did he do it? I'm surprised that many people died. They must have been tricked by someone. Either that or a lot of pushing and shoving was going on. I, uh, I haven't been lucky with the team minigames today. Pretty reliably, every single time I've been put with a team, they've let me down. I think the only team minigame I remember winning today is the tail one. And that is, like, hardly a team minigame. Oh. No, no, that's fine. It's not like I needed that or anything. Go, yellow boy! Why did you let go? Okay. He has done the holy deed. Delivered the holy grail. Wow, that sent me way farther than I wanted to go. Still a golden boy out here? Crazy. Wild times we live in, where blue is completely undefended. Ready for the picking. Wow, dude! That egg is gone! sent straight past the stratosphere. Alright, Bully Blue, I think, is uh, fully established. We got some dumbasses in red who don't understand how the game is played. Didn't quite get the memo on that one. What are you doing leaving Blue without an egg and pushing me around for no reason, yellow boy? <laughs> that guy at the last second understood that I was stealing from him. Oh no. What? Why grab me for half a second and then give up? What kind of bodyguard do they have? What is... Uh, I just... Let me inside the head of a red player thinking it's a good idea to steal from the people with 32 eggs instead of the people with four eggs. Sorry I didn't mean to grab you, red guy. If you're mad at me, I understand. That was my fault. Th that's how you do it. You just keep delivering eggs. And, and have some bodyguards in your nest, and you're fine. That's all it takes. And, you know, hopefully have a second place that understands it's better to go after third place than it is to go after first place. Not all the time is that the case. Uh, typically, in fact, you'll end up with dumbasses in second place, uh, who unfortunately have not graduated primary school. A lot of blue boys in this lobby, huh? Seeing a lot of blue. I thought it was a team minigame for a second. Blue and purple. Color of the day. Looks like we got some friendly people. A couple grabs here and there, but those are harmless grabs. Like, look, this is a harmless grab. We're just being friends. No reason to get upset over a grab like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Thought they were gonna die there for a second. Okay, you don't have to. That is not a harmless grab. That was a grab with intent. Hmm. 
interesting strategy. You don't want to ever let go of your control stick, because people will just push you. Oh, I was really hoping that guy would die, because he completely deserved it after trying to grab the other guy. 100% deserved it. Did he fall? Nope, he's still there. Wait, no, I think that's a different ninja. I think he did fall. I hope so. Ooh, get me back up. That was a bad jump. Come on, guys. We can all be friends. There's no reason to run into each other over and over and over again. Why the blocks don't go under the pink goo before despawning, I'll never understand. Looks very ugly when you look behind you. Okay. So, can I win? Yeah, you can always win. If you're lucky. Is it my best chance to win? Definitely not. Is it better than Tail Game? Probably. Though I don't like admitting it, because I really hate Fall Mountain. Nice, nice, nice. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're doing it. We're in there. My best chance yet. Oh shit, dude! You're fucking kidding me, dude! I did it! <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to grab it there, but I knew if I waited, I wouldn't have a chance. Oh. Uh. I, I did it. That's my first Fall Mountain victory. I spit all over the place because I was, I was screaming. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I, uh... Wow. You know, really... The, uh, the crown goes to the best player. What can you say? In every lobby, the better player wins. It's, uh, it's nothing other than that. Alright, so that's gonna be it today. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end on a positive note instead of just trash-talking team minigames over and over again. Uh, well, that was fun. We got, we got two W's. George W. Bush's in the house. A couple wins. Couple, couple golden crowns to uh, to send the day. Uh, probably not gonna play Fall Guys again for a while, at the very least. It might come back if I've got friends to play with, or if there's like a huge update with a lot of new mini games or something. But I think I've had enough. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing the game because it's still decently fun and it's fun to play with friends. Uh, but that's probably going to be the end of Fall Guys for a little bit on stream, at the very least. Uh, you know, glad to send it off with a high note, instead of just letting it slowly drown out in uh, absolute misery. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty happy with uh, today. Tomorrow, I'm probably actually going to do what I was intending to do today. I do really want to get back to Cave Story. Uh, so I don't feel bad about saying tomorrow, for sure, Cave Story. Uh, you know, who knows if we beat the core or not, but I'll be there to play it. Um, that's it for today, though. So thank you for hanging out. Uh... Not that many people seem to like watching Fall Guys, so, you know, if you did stick around, that's cool. I mean, look at the exciting results here. How could you be disappointed? But anyways, 
that'll be it for now. So see you tomorrow with Cave Story. And once again, thanks for hanging out.